In this video, we have this Toyota Supra Fortec, and we do a test like tests should be done. I send it in the air 50 feet. Wait till you see this. Let's go. A true Fortec beating. Good day, mateys. Hey, 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 yeah. I've never really done a full durability test on a Fortec. So let's get into it. Should be fun. Look at the rock pile over there. It got huge. I'm about to bring some large scale RC here. Next video. First things first, I need to get myself a new soldering iron. So this is the only reason I don't run Deans usually at all. This is a uh, Hobby Wing Max 10 SCT, so it is 4S capable, guys. The motor is only rated for 3S, I believe, but I'm going to get a good fan on there and we're going to do 4S passes on this thing. I'm running a hardened steel 72, 70 tooth spur gear and a 29 tooth steel pinion. The only other upgrade I have, guys, is the servo, a TRX4 servo, so I threw that in there, the 2075X, and it's, uh, at least it's all metal geared and everything, and that's way better than stock. For this car, that's an upgrade, because it's so small and light, you know? I'm running a, uh, a Z3S 80C pack, 6000 Ma, hard case, great battery. Oh, and look, this is my remote that I run with all my Traxxas vehicles, guys. Let me know if you want me to do a video about the Bluetooth module. I absolutely love this thing. This machine, as we know, did not come with a TQI. And these bind right up to this as well. All right, let's see what this thing's built for. Let's go. Look how pretty it looks before. Ah, this is my first time driving it with that new setup, guys. I thought I could land it. Let's get one more. Let's see if we could land it this time. Ready? Oh, there it goes. Oh! Ah, right on the front splitter. All right, one more. One more. Can we land it with a little more throttle? thing is mint. This thing is mint. Oh my god. Oh! The system's got some balls. Yeah. All road Supra. Who said armor was the only ones with the all road street cars? Ah! Look at this thing. I put thicker diff fluids in the rear and the front. I think it comes with like 30 maybe. You guys let me know in the comments. There's no center diff, it's just direct drive to the front and the rear axles. I think I put 500K in the front and rear. Oh no, I smell a disaster here. <laughs> oh man, I'm playing with fire. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 My body definitely just popped up. I hope the clip isn't broken. Yeah, it's not the fastest servo, but I'll tell you what, it's a lot stronger than stock. Oh yes, landed it. Ah. Oh. 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 I think thickening the diff oils helped it with the off-road capabilities. Look at this thing. Let's see. Oh. Oh. 
You know what the only problem is? Oh, the way the servo's set up, you get rocks stuck in it all the time. And the Fortec 3.0 gets to see a little skate park action today. It's definitely a good little drifter. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Oh, he landed it. You saw that? Ready? Somehow it survived that head-on collision right into the pole. Oh, yes, it did. Oh. See, if you land it, it doesn't come off. Let's see if I can land it this way. Oh, it just landed it, but it popped off. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to start really airing it out, so I might just have to secure the body with something better. Guys, I'm going over this mound and I'm gonna hit this flat out and see what happens. Ready, no one's down there. We'll go up this. Oh! Oh! Do we think it's alive, guys? Oh, it's alive! It's alive, just the body came off. I think I landed it, but something feels off though. Let me see, let me check it out. Look, see the drive shaft? We have a bent drive shaft. We aired it out full throttle. It went pretty high though, so it's to be expected. You can't be mad at it. Oh wow, hear that? Yeah. Woo! I might have lost drive somewhere too. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it's just. <laughs> yeah. Oh! 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 On its roof! And it's alive. Guys, how about the body being uh, still in one piece? Look, we have the side view mirrors, we have the wing is still there. Bravo, Traxxas, on the body quality. Whee! And it's alive. Oh, my own. Oh, still alive. <laughs> oh, it's alive. I, oh, we didn't want to do that with the body off. It's all exposed. Oh, no. The spur gear obviously is on the drive shaft. It's causing the spur gear to like wobble. And I guess, you know, therefore it uh, loosened up the pinion. Good thing I have these steel pinion and spur on here, or uh, I probably would have shattered that Traxxas aluminum pinion. Absolutely. If anyone's looking for a cool little tool kit, a little small little portable tool kit, it's an iFixit. That's the brand. As far as your hex, 0.7 all the way down to 0.7. Then 0.9 millimeter, 1.3. Then you get your 1.5. Goes all the way up, actually, even to 5. Here's the handle it comes with. This thing, it really feels like nice quality, all metal. The blue end here spins. I think it's a really great little set. 
little portable set. Oh! Ah! Look at it! Oh! It's loving it today. Oh, the body stuck, guys. Oh, oh. oh, what is that? The zip tie? That's it. It's getting it. I told you. Ah! My God! And it's still alive. It's wheels! It's still alive, guys. Look at this thing. Check it out. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, god damn. Oh my god. Oh, I had to do it. It is still alive. And obviously the body's twisted and totaled, but that's to be expected. Oh my god, it caught the front lip right on the lip. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> we have some crooked wheels today now. As you could imagine, some wheels are crooked after that beating. Nah, it ain't gonna work. Oh, something just failed on me. That probably was the motor temperature sensor letting me know my motor was too hot. I don't even know what just happened. All right, what goes up, what goes down, I should say, must go up. <laughs> Let's go. We'll bring it back this way. We're going to go over this thing here. And let's see if we can clear this. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what. I don't even know what I just hit. This? Or that, I think. Yeah, we didn't even make it past this pole, this railing. And it lives. Wow, that's all I have to say is wow. I'm pretty impressed. Anything that happened to this vehicle today would is exactly to be expected. Do not get it twisted for one second. This car is not made for this stuff at all. The way it handled it and semi-survived... The only thing that happened was this, the bent drive shaft, and at the end when I was doing the crazy burnouts and all that crazy stuff, I blew out some tires. Either way, I need tires all the way around, probably. So I wanted to see what it was capable of. I really wanted to see how strong the Fortec chassis was. With regular use and speed runs and all that drifting and all that stuff, you know that that, that car is going to survive. That's a tough car. If you can handle that stuff. If you want to think about subscribing, think about it. Hey, yeah? Uh? As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>